Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone listening to this session today. Today we'll be talking about VMware SASE and how it delivers reliability, better security, and scalability with edge computing. We'll be conversing with three executives from the different companies that is VMware, Intel, as well as Lumen. So we have Craig Connors, who is the VP and CTO of Service Provider and Edge from VMware. Hi, Craig. Hello, thanks for having me. Then we have Bob Ghaffari, who is the GM for Enterprise and Cloud Networking from Intel. Hi, Bob. Hi, great to be here. Thank you. And we have Paul Saville, who is the SVP from Product Management and Services from Lumen. So hi, Paul. Hello, everybody. Good to be here. Thank you all for joining our session today and talking to our customers about SASE and its benefits and how they can make use of this technology or series of technologies that comes along with SASE. So quick points to keep in mind as a disclaimer. We would be talking about different product features or functionalities or capabilities, but they may be on the roadmap or may still be under development. And also at the same time, obviously talk about what we are delivering today for all of you. We would also be talking about the futuristic work or the vision that we have from all the three companies, that's VMware, Intel, as well as Lumen, just so that you understand what's the vision of the companies. But obviously all this vision depends upon what the environment is today, be it from the industry market or even the customer requirements. So now, what we will be having in this discussion today is talk about what is SASE, what is driving the need for SASE, and how is it that the customers can use SASE, and why is it important for them to start deploying SASE and considering it into their environments today. So now I will hand it over to Craig so that he can take the conversation along with Bob and Paul for our session today. So Craig, can you please help us and start with understanding as to what is SASE, that is Secure Access Service Edge, and the benefits that we bring to everyone? Yes, thanks, Shafali, and, and good to be here chatting with our friends from Intel and Lumen about this exciting new space. So let's think back to the customer challenges that led to the birth of SASE. There's really three things that happened in concert that were important drivers of this evolution. The first is that applications evolved. We had applications moving into the public cloud, uh, into the internet. We even have modern containerized applications where as pieces of the application might be spread disparately across different parts of the network. Now we also had the case where the data center has evolved. Data center is not just on-prem anymore. Infrastructure as a service is a, is a huge use case Folks are building data centers in public cloud environments with bare metal offerings from folks. And uh, so it's not just a single point in the, in the on-premise data center anymore. And third, the branch has evolved. Uh, of course, this was true before the pandemic. It's obviously very true now that we're not a bunch of people sitting in an office together, right? You can see Three of us are, are sitting in our homes recording this VMworld session, and you're all sitting at home listening to it. So the combination of those three cha changes, applications evolving, the data center evolving, the branch evolving, it means that the trusted perimeter has dissolved. I no longer have a trusted zone, and an untrusted zone. I no longer have a perimeter that I can easily defend attacks on and uh, you know, have a firewall where I can pass every transaction through one single firewall stack in the data center before things access the applications. So we really had to rethink the way that we access and secure applications. And that's the birth of SASE. Last year at VMworld in 2020, VMware announced our version of SASE that we were going to roll out. And it really focuses on four key components. The secure access or zero trust network access portion for workers that are not sitting behind a, a traditional office router. SD-WAN, which still serves an important point for branch offices and retail sites and other places where we still do have that traditional working environment. Those two form what we call the WAN edge. 
And then on the right side, we have the security services edge, which is cloud web security for accessing internet applications securely for web and SaaS and next generation firewall in the cloud delivered as a service for accessing things like infrastructure as a service and other applications securely. But we've since expanded that definition, right? If you think about that, while it's a good comprehensive solution for addressing the problem case I talked about, it is a very point solution for addressing that problem statement. And now that we've brought cloud networking and cloud security together, we can really go beyond just securing users accessing applications to a host of other services that we provide on top of this. So what I like to say from VMware's perspective is, rather than building SASE, what we set out to do was build an edge platform and let SASE be the first set of services that we deployed on top of that platform to demonstrate the power. And now we're looking beyond SASE to things like analytics, to things like edge computing, and in the future, telco services, private 5G, other things we'll talk about as well today. Now, some of the key benefits and differentiators for VMware, of course, from a SASE perspective, we brought together our leading access technologies Workspace ONE tunnel application, which is deployed across you know, millions of endpoints, and the VMware SD-WAN deployed more than half a million endpoints, uh, very strong market-leading solutions. Those are big differentiators for us. But the other differentiators tie back to what I said about Edge being a platform that we build on top of. And this is where our partnership with folks like Intel and Lumen comes in, because VMware is very good at building compute environments, right? That's what everyone's known us for all this time. And so if you think about the edge and SASE as services running on the edge, and you think about the companies that you've trusted historically to give you virtualized compute and networking running in the cloud, x86 servers, Lumen networks, VMware hypervisors, these are things that you're used to using. And so key differentiators that we all bring to the table to deliver combined solutions that we feel are superior to the competition. So I'm going to hand it over to Bob now, and I'm going to ask you, Bob, how does Intel support SASE? And tell us something about your goal for edge computing in this space. Thanks, Craig. Uh, really interested to uh, talk about uh, SASE and what Intel is really doing. And so if you think about it at a um, high level, there's uh, solutions that need to be placed on that enterprise edge and uh, sort of, um, as you indicated, that WAN edge and making sure that we can address that. And then also having this landing spot where depending on what you need to do locally, there is this ability to sort of either scale up or scale down or be able to address today's workloads and also tomorrow's workloads. And so for us, for example, we have this really scalable offering with our um, Atom and Xeon D and uh, Xeon scalable product line that helps address this. And so for us, it's really important to make sure that we have a strong foundation for that. Also, the other thing that we're really trying to do is just make sure, you know, when we work with uh, both VMware and Lumen, we're able to deliver the right kind of capabilities um, in that network edge. So in that point of presence where, you know, you're serving many enterprise customers and having the capability there to be able to have a solution that can scale up no matter where in the world you're hosting these services. And so for us, you know, there's the network side and you're bringing the uh, packets in and having a really interesting you know, switch capability there. And so for us, for example, we got the Tofino product line there. Uh, you know, the NIC capability, there's different kinds of network interface cards that are really needed to address what's needed. And we got a really robust ethernet product line here to be able to address this, no matter what you're looking for and what kind of offload capabilities you really need. And then also having the capabilities from the compute and similar to like what Craig was saying, you know, in a way, SASE serves the foundation of what this edge needs to look like. And having a platform that can address this is really important, but also looking forward to address the solutions and capabilities that enterprises want, no matter if you're talking about a vertical specific compute offering, or if you're looking at having the capability to do either network analytics, security analytics, and being able to do this in an environment 
that's quite robust, I think is really important. And so for us, you know, we try to really look at that and make sure that we're able to deliver the kind of capabilities that gives, uh, you know, um, our customers and partners the ability to have this flexibility. So it's really exciting to be in this space. Um, you know, I think this whole movement to cloud has really made us think about how we deliver these solutions to be in a way relevant in this hybrid and multi-cloud world. And it's really exciting to be uh, working here with uh, both VMware and Lumen. And, and with that, um, you know, it's really uh, interesting to be able to hear, Paul, your thoughts. And, and when you look at Lumen and what Lumen is trying to do, how are you thinking about SASE and the uh, edge compute environments? And what are the kind of things that you're looking to be able to do uh, for your business? Yeah, thanks, Bob. Uh, you know, when we when we think about SASE and edge compute, there's a lot of relatedness between the two of them. But, you know, in terms of our journey and what we're doing in, ter in terms of delivering services for our customers, uh, I guess I would start by just saying that, you, you know, we're we're going through this period of rapid transition and pace. You know, the the in the old world of, of all of the network components and the and the elements being provided via hardware and software with specialized boxes that customers had to deploy or a carrier had to deploy across the world and on, on customer premises, that shifting to a world of virtualization, it's almost like with SASE, we've, you know, we haven't even completed that, that transformation of, of virtualizing individual uh, components of network and security services. And now we're already moving into, into SASE, which I think is actually a really good thing because, because what SASE really does is it, is it combines uh, a few of the key elements that that every enterprise just has to has to deal with whenever they're whenever they're uh, building networks to support their customers, it it covers uh, branch connectivity, it covers network security, it covers uh, remote user access with these uh, zero trust uh, uh, network solutions that that we need to do, particularly in this world where so many people are working from home, and it covers the data security and integrity portion of the responsibilities that that IT organizations and uh, enterprise networking organizations have to deal with. And so because all of these things are coming together in SASE, it actually solves a lot of problems for enterprises today that that have typically in the past been big headaches. Uh, I was talking to to one of our customers the other day about about uh, SASE and they were saying in, in their evaluation of it, it that you know, they're very keen to adopt it as quickly as it's available and, and they can get it because they think they can actually reduce their tools that they use to manage their network and security uh, solutions from from 18 down to around three or four tools. And that's just when you think about the operational complexity that that eliminates, uh, it's just a, a tremendous benefit to, to organizations. It's also uh, very valuable to, to companies because it, it, re, it and allows for consistency across policy management and drives that consistency across user experience as well, creating a consistent user experience for their employees uh, wherever they're working from home internationally or, or at uh, the office. And then the, the other thing that, that SASE really brings to enterprises is just the ability to move quickly, to scale quickly, uh, flexibility, because the combination of these tools and capabilities in a virtualized environment that SAS, that SASE brings uh, enables these enterprises to move very quickly. And uh, whenever they need to change, whenever they need to scale up, and it allows that to happen uh, quickly. The What it all boils down to is really those transformation of their business. And when you think about it, uh, it has a, SASE brings a number of things that help enterprises and companies like Lumen do this. It, it reduces network complexity and cost. You know, all of those those things that, that that we've had to deal with in the past, the disparate components that were made by different manufacturers that were parts hardware, parts software, uh, parts virtualization, all with different uh, monitoring tools, that all uh, uh, gets simplified with SASE. It also improves performance and user uh, experience. And the performance improvement happens because of the, the way that this capability uh, routes data through the networks in the way that's the most optimal path that's available. Uh, you know, and, and another interesting thing that it does that helps transform the company is that that it actually forces the IT and the security teams to work more closely together uh, now than they had in the past. You know, 
there's with with SASE, these things start to come together and those organizations you know could in the past kind of live in their 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 uh, areas of expertise and their kingdoms or uh you know the their knocks uh, separately now uh SASE, with the way that it's bringing this stuff together with consistent policy management consistent tools it's uh, really creating what we found is is good conversations in these companies that that I think that uh, results in a in a better outcome for them because these groups are working better uh, together. And then the I'd say the, the last thing is that it enforces identity and context aware policies uh, to to really enable new workloads, new things that we haven't been able to do in the past are now going to be available to us because of the the uh, deployment of SASE. Now, Lumen, we're we're um, in the process of rolling out SASE services in combination with with VMware and Intel, but we're also uh, have another range of services that that tie to SASE, and that's around edge compute. So we've been deploying um, uh, rapidly deploying edge compute capabilities across the world. Uh, today, we're have over over 60 nodes in the U.S. deployed. Uh, covering around 98% of the enterprises in the U.S. with with uh, low latency, five millisecond connectivity to that edge compute, and we've been working with uh, Intel and VMware very closely uh, on that deployment. We we use Intel uh, hardware for all of those edge compute nodes. VMware is a very important part of the total software solution that we have for uh, for managing that that edge compute. Uh, solution and tying it back to public cloud networks and tying it back to private cloud networks and building private clouds for customers across this very distributed uh, compute database. And so what happens is with with SASE is that uh, the the two the combination of edge compute and SASE together really make an even better combination because the the ability to distribute those uh, virtualized functions, uh, much closer to the point of, of digital interaction allows for better performance of the overall solutions that we're able to deliver and uh, for bet better security uh, management and security policy as well. So uh, it's been great partnering with with VMware and Intel on this this project so far. And, um, you know, I guess I'd ask Bob and Craig how uh, how they feel things are going, how they're seeing seeing this evolve as well. Awesome. No, this is great. Um, hey, um, you know, I think one thing I wanted to maybe share is, you know, when we think about the edge and uh, Paul, when you were talking about what you're really trying to do and you talk about the importance of latency, I think, uh, you know, when I think about the edge, I sort of think about, all right, you got a wired connection, you got wireless, and there's a lot of interesting uh, focus around 5G and what 5G can do and some of the new usage models that are really coming up. and. And so, you know, for us, it's really exciting to sort of think about, you know, how do we really deliver the platforms that can enable what the enterprises want in terms of some of the uh, current use cases that they got with their for their business, and then also some of the emerging and new use cases where, in some cases, latency may be important, in some cases it may not, but having that ability to be ready to serve and deliver on that, I think is pretty awesome. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, the the advances that are being made here with with virtualization and tools like SASE and Edge Compute really are going to make the ability to deploy uh, 5G, private 5G networks in particular, much easier. Uh, the the because the whole software stack that's needed to support much of the of a private 5G solution can basically be pushed to an Edge Compute node. Um, you know, there, there with with uh, a private 5G network, there's 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 always going to be some kind of a physical infrastructure that has to go on site. Like if you're if you're building out 5G for a factory environment, there's going to be some an, uh, antenna deployments. There's going to be some amount of wiring that needs to be done. But the uh, the ability to have an edge compute node out to to be able to uh, deploy a universal CPE on site, push the uh, the 5G stack that's needed right to that uh, universal CPE, and then uh, use you know uh, connected to the to the physical components of the of the total solution uh, is going to be much quicker, much cleaner. The policy management is going to be uh, much faster and easier to do. Uh, the security capabilities of it are going to be much uh, much cleaner. So I think it's a really exciting new world that that we're getting into with the possibilities that 
that this technology brings to uh, enterprise customers to to really step up with new advanced new capabilities in in their enterprise. And and it really takes a combination of companies like ours to achieve these use cases, right? I think Intel probably doesn't get enough credit in this this part of the world. Um, I've been in networking software for a long time, and you know when I started, we had purpose built network processors, and Paul talked about you know, 18 management consoles and different pieces of hardware and software. And that was because in order to, to achieve the performance we needed, we had to use purpose-built hardware and we had to write specific instructions for processing packets. And now, you know, both from just Intel's processors getting more and more powerful, but also data plane development kit for, you know, writing software, AES and I instructions, Intel Quick Assist for hardware acceleration and the new instructions that are coming and the new CPUs. Intel's made it really easy for us to write high performance networking software on what people would think of as a generic server. And so once you do that, adding edge compute, right? We're, we're gonna run containerized workloads directly on our edge routers, um, supporting edge compute in the near edge, like Paul was talking about running on Intel hardware. Those things running in the same place as the networking were never possible before. And so you have the, the advancements from Intel in the hardware, with the advancements from VMware in the software, with providers like Lumen who are able to deploy it and get it out to the customers. And so it really is all of our, all of these different companies coming together in the partnership that supports these things like private 5G, which wouldn't be possible without all of us participating in it together. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I, I completely agree, um, Craig. And, uh, you know, it's really exciting. And so when I look at, for example, what VMware has done with their software and their whole SD-WAN software and being able to sort of take advantage of, you know, the capabilities on that edge and, for example, using the quick assist capabilities to be able to, like, really accelerate the package, especially as you get into, you know, these SASE applications and doing it in a performant way is definitely awesome. And And, and so, and then, you know, like you sort of said, you know, you know, it's like really providing the building blocks. And one of these things that we sort of see for this industry is this industry is changing rather quickly. I mean, you know, I think SASE is like new, you know, maybe a couple of years new in terms of maybe, you know, how we describe, you know, uh, how we address this. And we just know that the market and how we actually need to evolve these usage models are changing. And so having the flexible architectures is so important. And so one of the things that we've done from an Intel standpoint is we, you know, have the ability from a layer two or a lower level networking uh, layer to be able to have programmability, no matter if you're going to run this in our processors or SOCs, or if you're going to want to build that programmability into our switches or onto our NICs and using, for example, a P4 programmable language, you'll be able to go do that. And then of course, building in the capability in terms of like what programmability you want to use into the compute aspects and having this architecture that could be flexible no matter what you do on that edge versus what you do on the pop, I think is awesome. And I think it's just so great when we get to sort of see, you know, VMware pulling this all together, right? And then Lumen, when you're able to sort of deploy this and then deliver that benefit to enterprise customers, I think that is just awesome. And I love to see that. Yeah, that, that flexibility that you talked about, Bob, uh, super important, right? I, I think one of the reasons why we think about building the edge and running SASE on top for, instead of the vice versa way, I think one of the reasons why Lumen has built out this edge is that, as you said, things are changing quickly and we don't know what the next SASE is going to be, right? Um, we've learned, if we've learned one thing in the last couple of years, it's that things can change much faster than we ever thought they could, right? And so um, who would imagine we'd all go work from home one day and, and a year and a half later still be working from home, right? And so who knows what's gonna drive the next rapid transformation. And so what we've built together is this generic abstract extensible platform so that when the next pivot happens, when the next you know new breakthrough in technology happens, we've got the hardware and the software and the platform to support it. And I think that really comes from all three of us working together and delivering this. Yeah, I agree. So, I, I think that the that that is one of the things that I, we've all learned from this uh, uh, whole COVID experience is that the the value that we place on agility and flexibility 
is just uh, gone up tremendously. And when every time I get a chance to talk to a CIO, you know, particularly the ones that do that had uh, traditional brick and mortar businesses, the 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 comment I get over and over again is that you know uh, the the ones that were able to move quickly, that had the flexibility, that had the agility to to uh, turn on a dime, were the ones that were really the most successful. And uh, you know I've seen examples of companies that that completely uh, transformed their business to an online business from being a primarily bricks and mortar business is, is a result of, uh, of what's happened over the, over the last year. It's just been incredible. Yeah. I, th- I think I'm supposed to give key takeaways now, but I think Paul's pretty much given them right. Flexibility, agility. I mean, these are the, these are the key words that you want to take away from this. When you're looking for a provider for SASE, think beyond SASE, think about the edge, think about edge compute, think about 5g, Think about the other transformations that are coming and being ready for the transformations we haven't thought of yet because you want that extensible platform. And so it's platforms like the ones that Lumen VMware and Intel are delivering together that are going to support those future use cases and keep you successful no matter what curveballs get thrown your way as we move forward. So with that, I'm going to hand it over to Shafali. Thanks again to Paul and Bob for joining me in this chat. And Shafali, please uh, close it out for us with our call to action. Thanks, Craig, Bob, and Paul. That was a great discussion that we had and an excellent conversation to help customers understand as to how and when to use SASE and why they should use SASE. And uh, Craig, as you very nicely closed out saying that SASE is not just about bringing the uh, networking and security together, but to keep on the lookout on the future services also that are coming up, you know, be it like your edge compute or the private 5G as we talked about. So with this, I would like all of you to go through different sessions, be it online, uh, on demand, as well as the Simulive sessions that we have at VMworld this year. We actually have a new track just simply for the edge so that you can get an understanding of where edge is going and what kind of technologies and solutions that are being made available to you for uh, for you to use uh, in the edge space. You can also go to the respective websites of VMware, Intel, as well as Lumen Networks to get more information regarding SASE from all their uh, from all the services and the technologies that they're providing. You could also go through the different demos that are available on each company website. And more important of all, at VMworld 2021, we also have uh, different hands-on labs available for you to play around and see how VMware SASE works in today's environment. And uh, last but not the least, please do also go through and have access to the free trials and play around with it to see and uh, understand the benefits of VMware SASE by yourself at one go. So thank you very much for attending the presentation and the conversation. Uh, please do take your survey uh, and provide us with your feedback and Thanks a lot again to everyone for attending the session today. And thank you very much once again, Craig, Bob, and Paul 